really don't know until diagnosis. Um, there are several different types of breast cancer um, that affect both men and women. Um, invasive ductal carcinoma, um, uh, it could be in situ, which is where the, the cancer is confined. Um, it could be inflammatory, which causes the skin to be red like a rash. Uh, but you really don't know that until you've seen a breast specialist. Um, your family doctor may or may not know what to do with you. So I encourage people always to seek out a breast specialist if there's anything going on with that area of the chest around the, the nipple. Men's breast tissue is pretty much concentrated right behind the nipple and around the nipple. So, you know, any, anything in that general vicinity that's of concern should be evaluated. You can certainly see your, see your family doctor. Uh, breast cancer is not usually on their radar. Uh, when I was diagnosed, uh, I was told that it was probably a cyst uh, or calcification and that we'd keep an eye on it and we'd watch it. And, you know, I wasn't sick, so I wasn't going to the doctor. So several years later, I happened to be there um, about two weeks after I found that lymph node um, for another issue. And uh, I said, oh, doc, by the way, what about that, that little piece-sized lump I had? It's bigger and it hurts now. And, and he said, well, let's take a look. And off came the shirt. And uh, he could see immediately that the nipple was inverted. Um, he was precepting some med students, so I heard him mumble that to one of the you know, med students, and then he, uh, you know, palpated it, and then that's when I hopped on that speeding breast cancer train, <laughs> and uh, he referred me out for a mammogram and an ultrasound. So you really don't know until you've had a mammogram, an ultrasound, and a biopsy what you have as far as male breast cancer goes.